Welcome back everyone, Apple finally released iOS 14 and we're going to take a look at it on my very cracked iPhone 8 and for some reason iOS 14, I'll definitely tell you, is a huge update in my opinion. It brought a lot of cool features, a lot of bug fixes that are probably going to come not at the first beta because there's a lot of issues with this on all my devices which is totally okay. And I think overall, it's probably one of the biggest updates Apple has pushed in at least a couple of years. I would probably say since like iOS 11. But with that being said, and before I get too far in this video, I'm going to tell you, I will not recommend updating you guys. I would, I would definitely recommend not updating yet. Stay where you're at. Don't even think about pushing that update button. If you find a beta profile or whatever, don't install it. Just wait until the public beta comes out. I'm not using this phone as a main phone. I'm just using it as like a tester device to let iPhone 8 users know how this phone is going to feel like when you go and update. But I would recommend you guys don't do it. You can run into so many issues. Even for me just making quick videos like these 10 minute videos for these phones. I've been running into tons of issues. So it's cool. There's a lot of cool features. But don't, don't update. You're going to ruin your device more than you're going to help it. Now this update size on most of my devices were about 4 gigs. You know a little bit less. It was about 3.8 to about 4.2 gigs on literally all my devices coming from iOS 13. So, so make sure you have about 5 gigs saved before you go and update. And make sure your battery is charged, you know, you don't want it to run to an issue with. But like I said, I wouldn't recommend updating. And I just came off of running a benchmark score as well. And you can see that my single core score was 910. But my multi core score was 1074, which is pretty good for this type of device. Now this is the first time that I've been running Geekbench scores. This is the first set of videos that I've done, the first compares, the first iOS update. So it's probably going to be a minute before I go and learn the basics of this app and everything. But I think that's a pretty good score based on everything that I've heard. Now getting on to the features, so the very first feature that's probably the coolest one is the home screen widgets. We now have the capability of adding these widgets on our home screen, which is really, really awesome. And right now, it might seem pretty basic, which it honestly is, but down the line, future iOS updates and future app updates, I feel like app developers are going to utilize these to bring some really cool functionalities for these devices. Now in order to add them, all you have to do is go to the side where your widget panel usually is, and these are basically how the new widget panels are going to look like. You just have to hold down these little things, click edit home screen, and just like any other app, you just have to go drag it, grab it, and drag it to the next page, and I can never do it with one hand. So there you go, you drag it, drag it again, and you can put it wherever you want to, which is really cool. The apps natively go around it, which is really awesome. And before we used to have to get jailbroken to do this, and now we can do it with stock, so... That's a really awesome thing, one of my favorite features right now, and probably one of the best features of iOS 14. Another really cool thing is the app library, which brings a lot of these cool little boxes and apps to a whole different layout, which is really cool. So instead of having them all right here, you can actually go right here and see these apps. And if you click the app library little toggle search thing, you'll have a whole list of your apps right here that you can search through. Now you can say we could have usually done that through Spotlight Search or whatever, but this at least brings all the apps right here so you can search them. You can even delete pages of apps right here, which is really awesome if you grab it at a home screen. You can see if you usually you can click right here and delete pages of apps, which is really cool too. We also got a new caller UI. So when people call you, it doesn't take up the whole screen. It just comes down a little bit like a notification and you can swipe it away, just like how we had it on those Cydia tweaks back in the day. And even now, people still use them. And now with iOS 14, we don't need that, which is really cool. Now, another really, really cool thing is picture in picture. And I think I'm just so used to talking about it, but tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to freak out about it again. And basically, we don't have to download tweaks. We don't have to do anything anymore. All we have to do, and I think YouTube will eventually get to this point, but you can go to the YouTube website, hit picture in picture right there, hop out, and you can see we have picture in picture without being jailbroken, which is so cool. Apple actually brought this in. One of the, my favorite things ever, I love picture in picture, I love watching videos while doing other things, and now we do have the capability with iOS 14. Now Siri got an update as well, it doesn't take up the whole screen anymore either, and I think that's one of Apple's things, they don't just, they just don't want to take up the whole screen anymore. And now Siri just comes with this small little thing, and you can click on it, do whatever, talk to Siri and all that stuff, but when you don't want it, it's out of the way, and when you do want it, it's still out of the way, so that's another humongous highlight for sure. Now iMessage got an update as well. So there's tons of cool little added features that I probably won't never find out all of them anyway. But you can pin conversations with an iMessage, which is really cool. There's more emojis. You can actually mention people within iMessage now too, and they'll get notifications and all that stuff, which is really cool. There's new UI for group icons, which is really awesome as well. So iMessage got a pretty big update as well. Rightfully so, it's a really important thing with an iOS. And there are tons of other updates as well. There's new map functionalities. CarPlay got a little bit of an update. And the U1 chips have more functionality with an iOS 2, which is really cool. So ultimately, like I said, it's a very cool update. I would recommend you updating when the time comes. But as of right now, I would not recommend you guys updating. So that's really pretty much it. It runs pretty much okay on my iPhone 8. 
I can't wait for the official version to come out. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.